and it's an annual awards event this Friday at the New Jersey Inventors Hall of Fame, celebrating the creative impulse in science and engineering. One of those being honored is an NJIT researcher who used his expertise in wireless networking to improve underwater communications. Science and Technology correspondent Patrick Regan reports. The New Jersey Inventors Hall of Fame recognizes several different types of contributions by people from grad students to established superstars like physicist Jim West, one of this year's Hall of Fame inductees, whose inventions you probably use several times a day. The Inventor of the Year Award honors people like Sidney Pestka, a pioneer in recombinant interferon therapeutics and a father of the biotech industry. The Innovators Award singles out more theoretical contributions that are judged likely to have significant influence or impact in the future. That's the category in which Ali Abdi's research is being highlighted. Abdi and his students at NJIT are exploring new dimensions in underwater communication using ideas adapted from mobile phone and wireless data networking. Transmitting acoustic signals through water is in many ways much more limiting than sending data on radio waves through the air, but Abdi thought there might be advantages that had been overlooked. When I, you know, started looking at underwater communication, I felt that, first of all, that there are some uh, unique physics of the channel there that do not exist in, let's say, cellular systems. So I tried to sort of capture those special features and, you know, use them sort of as a leverage, you know, to increase the data rate, make a better communication. Low data rates, short range, and cumbersome equipment have inhibited the use of tetherless underwater communication. For example, among diving research robots that typically communicate only by radio and only when they surface. Abdi's approach exploits a measurement called particle velocity to open up new communication channels. Employing a different kind of sensor in the receiver could then drastically reduce equipment requirements. So with a small compact sensor, you can measure several channels all together at a single point in space. Patrick Regan, NJN News, Newark.